welcome to my first show. Um, so I'm here with my partner Matthew. Hello, hello everybody. <laughs> and uh, he's prepared some images for me to comment on. Let's start with the first one. Okay, so welcome to No Opinion Land. Wow, he has no soul, this interior. There's, uh, there's a chair that we could save maybe in this interior. Maybe, maybe we need some to add some colors, paintings on the walls. I don't know. It's, uh, it just feels so cold. The table's in glass. We need some wood, guys. We need some wood. And the gray and the stars. Wow, what could we do? We could start by changing the table and making it in wood. Um, keep the chair, the grey chair. This is probably the only item that I would keep actually in this interior. I don't know what's going on with this long chair at the front with the brown carpet. We need to have a little bit more um, life in this interior. So moving on to the next one. Whoa, this guy likes pink. I imagine it would be she would like pink. It's it's interesting. It's a little bit too much pink for my liking. Um, I like the um, the chimney. The chimney mantel is actually really nice. A little bit of Bauhaus uh, star here. The floor is beautiful, definitely. It's been highlighted by um, some nice furniture. Some nice furniture. I I would. Um, have some a little bit more interesting maybe artwork on the wall. This blue cover is uh, it's it's not nice. Blue, uh, pink, and white. It's not working together. the The pink will goes well with um, green. So you can go maybe with a dark green, a bit of more Renaissance style to highlight a little bit the uh, um, the structure and the high ceilings. Uh, my partner would like to say something. It's a house from France to sell. To sell a house from France. Okay, well, if you want to sell a house, unfortunately, you have to go all white. That's the problem. That, uh, the, the less soul it has, and the uh, more likely you are to sell your house to people who can put their own soul into it. Moving on to this actually beautiful interior. Uh, we have some marble, white and black, okay, it's, uh, you're not taking any risk, except that it puts some patterns on the wall. It's interesting because the pattern is, uh, it's quite modern and they're trying to copy this, um, this French molds that you see around, um, uh, around uh, Parisian apartments and these beautiful uh, windows looking at onto this exterior space. The Rayana, Rayana house in Beverly Hills. Uh huh. There you go. Um, I would add uh, some nice cushions, a little bit more uh, popping up colors in this uh, black and white um, surroundings. Maybe some Ina de Saint Andre old cushions. Just a suggestion. There you go. So uh, good job there, mate. Moving on to another French house. It looks. Yeah, Is it? Of course. It's a French house, okay. Uh, the white leather is always a tricky bit because it has this old feel to it, in my opinion. And again, it needs cushion and the, the rug could be uh, a little bit more modern. White towels is, on the floor is always tricky, I found, because everything's white, you know. You're not taking any risk. You just put white all over, except that you're not making it really comfy. I'm having always to have to fight with people to, um, to make them understand that white is not a color, first of all, and second, it's a really cold color. So if you want to highlight some areas and make it more comfy, you tend to put darker, um, a dark wall, like a dark brown, maybe just one of them here, maybe I put it on the left inside here. And all, already the, the, the sofa that's white, but not exactly the same white as the background, will stand out, you know what I mean? So that would be my suggestion. Next one, whoa! We have a, a very interesting kitchen there. I like it. 
this ochre yellow it's uh, that looks all custom made probably cost a fortune <laughs> what do you think but the floor is uh, is a little bit contrasting in that sense and um, and the chairs with the tall back for me is a big no-no it looks a little bit like a, a Chinese style uh, mixed with maybe 80s late 80s so if we want to play with the 80s style which could work maybe we have the chairs with some uh, like dish style I don't know if you know uh, this style when it's the black uh, red uh, primary color blue maybe we have this kind of chairs that would stand out next to this ochre or maybe calm it down a little bit you have something to say yeah it's a house from New York about six million dollars six million dollars well I guess they can afford a new floor then can they <laughs> okay next oh that looks sad where are we when do you think it's wrong? Um, I could say China or maybe Spain Spain, of course. Spain okay well the pattern here are happening like all over uh, the curtains and the and uh, on the sofas well I don't know what I would do I would just change so many things <laughs> in this interior this fake wood on the windows is, is um, it makes the whole place looks pretty cheap well I would change everything yeah I would go for a grey tiles and um, maybe paint that wall and definitely change this poster the five five dollars poster yeah you have on the wall <laughs> with sunflower that's supposed to make you happy somehow feels really sad okay um moving on i have to move on from this okay now we have beautiful space again not taking many risks going gray white and black you can't go wrong then can you uh, if you're selling the house that's definitely the way you want to sell it but um, if you were to live there I would add some art on the wall maybe and uh, maybe add a little bit more uh, wood like real wood within the chairs or I like that tree I'm hoping it will grow much bigger and take more space within it yeah and uh, maybe add colors on the the bar stools as well, definitely on the sofa. But it's a nice space. A lot of breathing area. And now we are moving to Versailles. <laughs> Where did you get that photo? Basically, it's Elise, French house president. Okay, president's house. Well, we guess the president has money to put gold all over. Wow. How busy! Can you imagine just having a meeting in this interior? You, your eyes cannot rest anywhere. You have to, I don't know, look at your... Hopefully you have no patterns on your outfit so you can focus on your outfit. <laughs> well, uh, well, this is a, an interior where you want to show your wealth, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Moving on, I mean, there's nothing I can do there. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess we are in someone's kitchen where not much is happening. Hope the cooking's good because uh, it lacks colors. Where are all the fruits with colorful colors? I don't know. We need a bit of tropical um, a touch to it. The cabinets look like the green, a dark green. Um, I would probably paint the rest of them either with a bright color or continue on a dark green if you uh, like dark green and the stools are here but not here because they're transparent that's the trick that's the trick I don't like the white frames with them maybe I try to make the frames in wood also to bring a bit of uh, warmth into the space and um, yeah put some warm lighting into this and the floor is pink. Ooh, I don't like this floor. Uh, yeah, maybe I go for gray. Or um, 
the back of the kitchen sink maybe add some tiles in there either have like cement tiles or something plain depending on uh, your taste moving on okay well there's nothing to say about this interior they definitely have the right combination black white and timber there you go you can't go wrong there's a lot of natural light I don't know what's going on in between this. Where does that pillow? It's a mirror. Hmm, interesting. Well, this house is definitely made by an architect. The floor is um, polished concrete. Well, I love polished concrete. It's so uneasy to clean, but the, the, the look of it just makes it really modern and sleek. I, I wouldn't do anything on the, this base put some artwork, maybe some cushion. And the chairs, I'm not too keen about the little skirts on the chairs, maybe something a bit more modern, because the table is really heavy. Uh, I would put a chair that's a bit uh, slicker and lighter uh, in the look of it. And um, that's it. Time Thanks for, for watching. Yeah, thank for everything, Hina. <laughs> You're welcome. See you on the next show.